Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about pathfinding operations in Adobe Illustrator. And if you're in the sign business, pathfinding operations are a necessity because that's how you create cut paths out of complex, hang on just a second, out of complex uh, graphics like this fire extinguisher. See all those lines in there, all those paths? Well, we need one path, really one out of many to create this cut contour that we need. So let me go back, hit control Y again. So I'm not looking at outlines, but the actual graphic. Now let me zoom out by hitting control minus on the keyboard. Again, what I'm going to have to do is duplicate the fire extinguisher. So let me get the selection tool. Oops, I do believe it's locked. Okay, with the selection tool, I will click. <clears throat> that has the entire fire extinguisher group selected. You can see it right here. Now let's duplicate it. Same method. Click, hold down the Alt key, drag it up to the cut paths, release, close this group, and lock it again. Now, <clears throat> here it is right here, folks. What you want to do, okay, zoom in, go control Y, and let's look at just the paths for a minute, okay, get your selection tool, select it, now go to the Pathfinder palette, and select this shape mode right here, okay. This is Add to Shape. It's not giving me a tooltip, but anyway, this is Add to Shape. Select that, hold down the Alt key, and click. And there you go, but something is wrong. It didn't, didn't get everything, which tells me the entire group. Oh, no. Excuse me, folks. I know the problem. It is that we can still see this layer. Let's turn it off. <coughs> there we go. And there's our nice cut path. Okay. So let's do the same thing we did. Hit Control Y so you can see uh, everything. Let's select that path. Let's go to the Appearance Palette. Again, select the stroke, which we haven't actually created yet. Doing the same thing here that you've seen twice before. Okay, there's my stroke. Highlight stroke right here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to offset that stroke. And this time I'm just going to use negative 1 PT. Minor limit of 1 again. Preview it. And there you go. There's our cut contour there. And what I recommend you do is hold down the space bar and scroll around and check it out. Make sure everything worked out really good. And it did. Okay? It worked out just fine. <coughs> Let's turn this layer back on. Let's zoom out. And let's get rid of the fill okay let's get rid of the fill for this layer now you can see your fire extinguisher and if you zoom in you'll see the cut path as well that of course is not going to print that cut path is not going to print that is just telling the printer after it gets done printing to cut on this line and it is there you just can't see it too well because of the color background <coughs> so there you have it folks that is basically it for the design. Now we have to do some cleanup work and get it ready, ready to print and then to cut. Uh, by the way, with regards to the spot color called Cut Contour, here it is. All you have to do, now this is strictly for the Roland printer. All you have to do is in the swatches palette, create your own swatch, your own spot color, and name it Cut Contour. And you do that right here. Create a new swatch, click on that. Name it Cut Contour. Make sure it's designated a spot color, not a process color. 
okay and it can be any color you want what's happening is the printer is looking for a spot color named cut contour that's all it's doing and that's where it's going to cut the path okay folks now um, we'll do a little cleanup in the last lesson that's coming right up thanks